Hi guys, Danny from Glorious Fishing. It's currently a Wednesday evening and we're out with Jason and we've got, uh, we're going out and we're going to be targeting some bass and red mullet. Hopefully we can get some this time because the last couple of sessions we blanked. They make so uh, yeah, it yeah, hasn't been too good. So uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get some tonight guys. I managed to dig some red, uh, some uh, ragworm earlier. So hopefully uh, we can do it. So, uh, but also where we dig the ragworm, I've never fished there before. So we're going to do an episode where, where we go fishing there as well. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. If you haven't hit the channel already, Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button guys. We do all sea fishing adventures here. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. We're gonna start making the walk down. Jason's already been down there. We've got a bit of squid, bit of rack. Hopefully you get a few congas as well. And yeah, hopefully we bring you some fantastic fishing content. So anyway, stay tuned. Let's get to it. So guys, this is the walk down. You've probably seen it before. This is down at St. Peterport Harbor. There's the RNLI lifeboat there, right there. And uh, there's an AED unit for whenever we've got pool fishing with us with, with his bad ticker, just in case he ever. Uh, that's why I like fishing here as well. <laughs> but nah, guys, I'm only joking. So we're making the way down here. There's no wind tonight, so I'm quite hopeful. It's an 8.6 meter tide, and high tides at 20 to 11 at night. So uh, yeah, I'm quite hopeful. Jason's giving me a hand with the bags. We've got the drop net as well, just in case there is that good fish. So. Uh, yeah, we're gonna try for a few squid as well. I've got the squid rod, so we're gonna try and squid some bit, uh, lure fish some squid up. So, uh, yeah, all, all the coddle fish, so uh, maybe even get the odd octopus. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned, guys. I'm gonna get set up. I'll give you a, pre a prep of the rods and the baits and stuff like that, and my rigs and tactics that I'm gonna be doing. And uh, yeah, we'll get to it. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. So guys, I've just set up my rods. Jason was just getting bites on his uh, ragworm rod. So hopefully that's signs of things to come guys and the fish are biting. Just to run through my rods, Tronic Pro Gorillas, uh, 13 foot, four to seven ounce, Pem 525, Mag 2's loaded on them guys. Uh, sorry about the shadow there. Yeah, loaded there with 25 pound mono. Uh, the main body of the trace is 20 pounds. We're using a running ledger. On the first one guys, just a bead, zip slider, bead, swivel, lots of green beads, up to a one uh, a size one hook, There's plenty of ragworm there guys. And then on the second rod there, we're just using the two hook flapper rig. That's the first hook guys, just a one ragworm hanging down. We're using four or five ounce weights on these. And then on the second one, just a ragworm again with a head hook ragworm onto it. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. That's the ragworm I managed to dig earlier guys. I was against the tide but i managed to dig a fair few so happy of that we've got a good night session ahead of us hopefully we can start getting these red mullet that's what we're after second one's going now guys beautiful fantastic hopefully we'll get these reds Sorry guys, I couldn't get it on film because I had to get Jason with the drop net. We got a little squid there guys, that's what we were after. We needed some bait, absolutely fantastic. It went for the it went for the little pink hook on the top. So that was on the two hook uh, dropper rig that Jay uses. So luckily we used the net because it's come out already. That's a lovely little squid that. Absolutely fantastic, look it's inking everywhere. Luckily we got the hose here guys, check its eyes out. So really? eyes are absolutely fantastic that's what we went out for so fish. the squid rods out baby we managed to get the first squid up hopefully there's a few more of these krakens so guys as you know how we dispatch of the squid here is the good old karate chop as smash fishing will tell you simple like that change of color that's the squid done guys simple as that that's the easiest way to put them out their misery so first squid down hopefully we can get a few more fantastic we want his grandma now look at that what a beauty, that's just its nerves. So guys, this is this is how I caught the first squid guys. Look, I put a little bit of squid on it and literally first cast, as soon as I put the squid on it, we had it guys. We literally had a squid straight away. So I'm gonna do exactly the same again. I'm gonna get down there and hopefully it's grandma there. If there's one, there should be a few more or even a cuttlefish, wouldn't want a cuttlefish. Anyway, oh, a bell just went. Anyway, stay tuned, hopefully we get you some fish. So guys, it was Jason's rod that was getting bites. Hopefully things are starting to pick up. We've had that squid. Happy with that. You're gonna leave it. 
leave it down there chap hopefully it persists and that rod starts launching over that's got the ragworm on hasn't it yeah fantastic hopefully it's a red mullet oh guys jason keeps having nibbles both rods i've seen the other one went over and that one so hopefully it materializes in a fish i haven't had nothing yet i'm still squidding seeing if we can get a bit more uh, bait but uh yeah if not i'm going to bring these rods in, in a minute and we'll give them a check well guys possible fish on jason's bringing it in there's a bit of weight there he's not sure if it's a fish or not still not fish not certain no. not certain so it could be a crab i think that's on the ragworm bait isn't it yeah yeah on the ragworm bait so uh we'll soon find out guys hopefully it's a red you know sometimes they don't fight but nine times out of ten they do so could be a whip fish. it's a fish it's a, red. it's a red mullet guys told you it's a and it's a nice one bring it up guys bring it up 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 check that out guys that's what we came out for and that's what we got red mullet fantastic check that out for a fish absolutely beautiful check that out prime fish that that's a good eating fish that guys not well up though look yeah it is look well up yeah but straight in the top of the yeah, lip in the top there, yeah. straight in, that ain't coming out easy nah. mate i guarantee you that ain't coming out easy that's a fantastic fish. Up. and it is a lovely fish it's probably about 26 27 centimeters guys yeah fantastic jason will get it off the hook nice fish man yeah lovely. beautiful anyway stay tuned hopefully we'll get some more of these fantastic Hey guys, there's Jason's red mullet. Absolutely fantastic. Chuff with that, bud? Yeah, mate, well happy. That's going home for tea, eh? Yeah, beauty. Happy with that, guys. Anyway, hopefully we're getting his grandma. Hey well, guys, Jace is up. Fish on again. Do you know what cracks me up? I said, Jace, you fish that side. I'm going to fish this side tonight. Oh, that's a bit of fight. Huh? A bit of fight now. Yeah, I reckon that's a red, mate. Yeah. If it's sure. a decent one, we'll get it in the net. Fantastic. Well done, mate. Could be a whip. Hope not. No, I don't know. Have we got the drop net down there, guys? I don't know if you can see that. This is decent, I reckon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They go well. Could be a bass. You never know. So, look, that's what you're aiming for, chap. Coming up in a minute. It's a whip. It's a whip. Yep. We won't bother with a whip. Bring her up. Alright guys, second fish. Whoa, get out of his way. Fantastic, beautiful. Little conga whip there. About a pound. Yeah, I reckon. Anyway guys, get them get that off the hook. That's the third species, hopefully. Yeah. And get another one. So guys, Jason's had to leap the hook in it because he swallowed it deep. We can't get it out. We don't want to injure the fish. It'll uh, rust out in two or three days. So we've cut the line as close as we can to the mouth. And he's going to go back just fine. So uh, yeah, beautiful fish that, guys. Straight back down he goes, guys. Anyway, hopefully we can get his grandma. So guys, we've been down here, what? How long have we been down here, Jace? Hour? Hour and a half? Hour and a half. Hour and a half, and we've had a red mullet, we've had a squid, and we've had a conga already, guys. It's not even high tide yet, so I'm still hopeful. None of my rods have gone off yet, the bottom rods, the red mullet rods, but uh, at least Jason's had one, so that's the target species, and we've had the squid as well, and the conga, so all in all, it's been a good night already, but hopefully there's still more to come. Jason's uh, squidding. Hopefully you can get one more. Hopefully you can get a big one, four pounder. Yeah. Guys, fish on, I don't know what. Uh, we've got squid on this, so it could be a whip, or it could be a red. We've got, um, got ragworm in there. It's a whip, guys. Oh, yeah, he's absolutely demolished that. Look, and we've got a crab on the bottom as well. So he's all wrapped up in that, guys. Stay tuned, I'm going to get him off. Put my other rods going as well, so we're going to have to check on that one as well. Hopefully that one's got the red mullet on. Let's get this whip off. Look at that mess. Guys, one last little show of this conga. He'll be absolutely fine. I'm gonna chuck him back. Look at him. Can't beat that. Check the eyes on him. Little wheel, eh? Fantastic creatures. Not that we want them though. So back he goes. Take back down, guys. Let's get another one. So guys, another fish there, another species, a lovely little whiting. I was bringing my line in, I didn't even know that I had anything on. That'd be a perfect prime bait for a conga, guys. So uh, 
And stay tuned, we get him off the hook. He's only lightly hooked, so there he is, he's off the hook. I seen a load of little bites earlier on, I, I just thought nothing of it. Lovely little whiting there, beautiful little representation. Look at that, fine little fish. Anyway, we'll get him back. So guys, just past 11 o'clock. Um, we've got the rods out still. We'll be staying to about half past 11. We're not going to stay much more than that. But we've had a whiting, red mullet, conga, and we've had the squid as well, guys. So all in all, it hasn't been a bad evening whatsoever. So there's the squid there. We'll be using that for bait, guys. Anyway, stay tuned, hopefully. I'm still hopeful one of these rods will go off with another fish. Let's hope so. Well, guys, it's currently near half past 11. We're going to start bringing the rods in soon. Uh, Jason's already got one in. He's got his last one out. I've got both of mine out. Still hoping for one more fish, but it don't look like it's going to happen. So the rods are going to come in soon. We'll be starting making our way to the van. But it's been a thoroughly enjoyable evening with whiting, red mullet, squid and congers eh? yeah. um, the only thing we didn't get was the bass but hey -o, at least we got all the rest anyway hopefully we can get one more so guys there's tonight's catch well part of it there's the uh, squid that i had that's the lovely red mullet that jason had they're an absolutely fantastic fish i love the look of them guys and they're fantastic eating as well apparently so we've got a bit of squid for bait as well because the tackle shop's shot so because we're in lockdown, at least we managed to get a bit of squid bait if we want to do a bit of congering over the next few days anyway. So all the rods are packed up now, guys. We're all ready to go. Jason's ready to go. Yeah, ready so to yeah, go. been a thoroughly enjoyable evening. So uh, if you like the channel, guys, like and subscribe. There's going to be plenty more shore fishing. I'm sure Jason will be with us next time or another time. So uh, yeah. yeah, we'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. My nose is running. But yeah, appreciate it. See you next time, guys. And glorious.